My name is Hans Ulrich Obrist, I'm co-director of the Serpent Tank Gallery and I co-founded together with Simon 89 Plus in uh, 2013. We co-curated here together the panel 89 Plus South Africa this morning together with Misla. Basically Simon and I met uh, four years ago in Yokohama at the foreign office building, you know, at the pier in Yokohama and that's really triggered it all. We were somehow uh, from the very beginning interested in this idea how we could see and start to discover a generation who grew up with the internet. And it was a few months later that Ryan Tricant in the artist in LA said, you know, there's such an amazing generation of artists born in the 90s and how excited uh, he is to actually, you know, see their work. So we, we felt, let's do it, you know, let's create a platform. We then um, became more concrete at the beginning of 2013 and founded 89 Plus as a website, founded it as a first conference uh, at DLD and ever since it has evolved. We've seen so far about 5,000 artists. One of the important aspects is that 89 Plus is not solely focused on visual arts, but it also embraces the very, very practices such as uh, writing, uh, poetry, which is the subject of the first 89 Plus exhibition currently at the Luma Vesbao in Zurich, uh, design, architecture, activism, mathematics, technology. Uh, it's a very, very wide scope. So we are very excited to have five artists with us here today and the question will obviously be is it a new generation in South Africa? I am Harun Gansali. I was born in 1989 and I am a practicing interdisciplinary artist. I was born to parents who were Mkontuwe Sizwe guerrillas at the time. It is very little wonder that years later I make artworks as carriers of na narrative and lived experience. What each of the different artists who are actually speaking about is, is voices and being able to voice their concerns and being part of the society. Um, and throughout their different practices, like you see that as a recurring idea that history, like history that's been erased, has to be contended for. Um, and they see themselves as really active participants to write their own history. Um, and with the internet, actually the possibilities for having discussion even beyond the physical locality to, uh, you know, for example, I, I, I first discovered Jodi's work um, probably about a year and a half ago. I some, somehow stumbled on it on Tumblr. And she could reach somebody like me, which is kind of very significant. And then in the concept of the, you know, in the idea of oral, oral tradition or oral history that's quite significant within the African context, you see somebody like Haroon who's talking about coming back to the community and using art as a facilitative tool to give voice to this part of the community that's essentially not had that opportunity, which I think is very, very significant. And that all ties back down to 89 plus about what are half of the world's population speaking about. Equality is a major theme within my life and my work and my dreams and my relationships. I like to call myself a visual artist. My mother taught us that the notion of being colored was created by our, our oppressors to separate us, people of color. This is essentially who I am as an artist and as a human being. It's kind of really fabulous that 89 Plus exists to support them, you know, 